Kaguya Otsutsuki. This is the mother of the Sage of the Six Paths? These two are... Hagoromo and Hamura. No. Indra and Asura. No, mother. They're Naruto and Sasuke, the two vessels of reincarnation. Black Setsu. He's changed somehow. <laughs> Finally. Now mother has been resurrected. I can return to her side. Just... who are you? The child of my mother, Kaguya. What are you talking about? You probably don't know this, but my mother was sealed by the hands of the Sage of the Six Paths, Hagoromo, and his younger brother, Hamura. Just before she was sealed, I was born from the very last ounce of her power. Born with a mission to revive her. Why would Great Grandpa do that? I thought he sealed the Ten Tails! Looks like you don't quite understand what the Ten Tails really is. That thing isn't really the Divine Tree. It's my mother herself. What? Not even Hagoromo knows this. He didn't even know that I'd been working to revive her this entire time. The Ten Tails was Kaguya. If that's the truth... And that means you must have gotten close to Madara and used him all for the sake of unsealing and reviving her. That's right. I made him think that he created me, then worked as his shadow to enact the infinite Tsukuyomi. Since the infinite Tsukuyomi is capable of gathering so much chakra, it was the sole way of reviving her. Of course, Madara wasn't the only one I used. I used everything I could get my hands on. I fed the fire of Indra's jealousy toward Asura through his descendants. I even controlled the Uchiha clan as it suited me. People, wills, traditions, history. You really did? Use all of that? Remember, it's the whole reason I was born. While my mother was gone, I wrote down everything and created history. In other words, the path that you all walked, the story of the Shinobi, was merely a story that I created in order to resurrect my mother. Naruto, it doesn't matter how hard you glare at me. Right, Mother? <coughs> oh, that's right. You've been sealed for so long. Did you remember the faces of your children? They're your enemies, though. The ones who stole your chakra. Yes. That's right. I... hate them. Here she comes! This is insane! Yeah. Hagoromo. Hamura. You belong to me. It's time to gather up all my chakra. And unify it once more. Naruto! You know what to do? Yeah! We can just seal her again! Let's do it! Sweat is pouring out of me! This chocolate is crazy! This 
should dispose of all the desert level from Mother <laughs> Choose your own Surrounded at will. I'm not dead. 
Let me give you a quick rundown. This is our chance, Mother. Oh, so that's what happened. But how are we going to stop Kaguya? Sasuke and I will figure... He disappeared. Something must have happened to the host that made it impossible to retain the clones. I can't move! Damn it! You're not allowed to touch them. Him. Obito! They just keep coming out. Everyone... Amaterasu! Escaping will take some time. I need to keep her busy until then. I can't let you go out there alone. Let me help. I'll help too. I can spare a little chakra. Mother, if we don't stop them, they're going to keep annoying us. Let's take them out first. I need to withstand this until Naruto and Sasuke can escape the ice. That's all I can do right now. This will be my final repentance. Kakashi, Sakura, back me up.
awaken. You aren't supposed to go to choose your own path. from here how can dying maggots be this persistent mother let's just kill them right there yes <clears throat> the gravity here is super strong my body feels so heavy but it looks like she's used up a lot of chakra as well. Are you alright, Mother? Let's hurry up and finish this, then leave this dimension. I no longer have the power to defeat her. Which means the only thing I can do now. I must protect Naruto and Sasuke, even if it kills me. I must protect them! Obito! You... Just stay here for now. Him. Wh why? Look at your face. Now I get to be all alone with Reen. You'd only ruin things, Kakashi. Obito! You really taught me a lot. And you probably still have a lot of suffering left waiting for you. But just make sure you stick to your ninja way all the way to the end. Stay strong and don't break your word. Is that how it went? Yes, that's it. Naruto, I just know you'll become the Hokage. Yeah. Kakashi. Obito! Yud. Better not come and join me for a while. Survive until the very end. What? Come on, Kakashi. Don't give me that face. Don't make a face like that. For trash like this. <laughs> What's this feeling? It feels like it. 
bubbling up from inside me. Oh, that's it. I'm happy. At the very end, I got to stand right next to my friend. I get it. That's why. I'm smiling. You don't need to be merciful towards someone who's this guilty, Kakashi. I just want you to send me off. Thank you. For everything. Let's go. <laughs> Why are you getting so desperate? The only thing you can change is the order that you die in. You're all such fools! Don't laugh... at my friend! <laughs> A shotting gun? But how? Your eye was stolen! This is the power that Obito left to me at the very end. That little worm. He kept screwing with my plans right to the very end. But it's fine, Mother. They're all just... Mine. <laughs> that power... is mine. M mother My power... Huh? Calm down, Mother! Oh no, she really must have used up too much power. She's starting to lose her mind! Who said you could use that? I will not permit any more foolish actions committed with my chakra! the power you lent me to protect them and the world this power is nothing like any shining gun i've seen since the first one Yo! Yo! 
bitches. limit but not even she can withstand all that damage what what is that is that one of those balls that i have behind me but it's way bigger than those Okay, mother. She can't even hear me anymore. I never thought I'd see her like this. I am the mother of all chakra. Pieces of my chakra cannot stop me. What? What? Above you! It's starting to fall. Chakra must be unified. The chakra must be unified. You're going to die, and she's going to absorb you. It's the final path that remains for you. This is it. The end. A shinobi history. Naruto. Sasuke. Sakura. Do you have any intention of following the final path he's talking about? Not at all. Of course not. Shinobi history... ...is something that's super heavy, and it's been going on for a long time. Defined by the way that all those shinobi lived and died. It isn't something that you two can mess around with! And I'm not gonna let it end! We're going to protect the history of Shinobi! Stupid ninja! No matter how much you howl, you'll never get another future! Now disappear! This is the end! Let's do this! Sasuke! Sakura! Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Who do you think I am? Ha. Fly. She's really trying to kill us. You 
No use in getting scared here! You won't get away. I should dispose of you. Right here! should I put this? My first impression is, I hate you all. As of now. I love you all.
But now, it's all over. You all seem like you're ready to celebrate, but how are we gonna get out of here? Oh, right! Relax, I figured something out. We can use the Sage of the Six Paths power to... Huh? Take us back. Looks like you're all safe. Great Grandpa! Wait, what? Why are you here? I borrowed a bit of chakra from both of you when we were in your mental space. I just used that to take you back to the real world. Bringing you back here was a necessity, you see. Naruto and Sasuke. Sakura and Kakashi. You did an excellent job saving the world. I doubt you would have been able to seal my mother even if one of you had been missing. Especially you two, Naruto and Sasuke. If you hadn't come together, you wouldn't have been able to stand up to her, let alone seal her. And you'll need to stay that way. Great Grandpa, you don't need to say anything else. I see. Then... I'll leave the rest to you two. It's about time we were on our way. Now, the reanimation jutsu will be undone. You may have fought together with them, but I can't just leave you all here forever. Light. What you said to the sage. I believe you. Take good care of the Hidden Leaf and the Shinobi world. There's nothing left for us to do here. Just like Saru said, we will leave the rest to you. Madara. You're going? Yeah. With you. In the end, my dream was crushed. And it was connected to your dream, too. You rush things too much, Madara. There was no reason for us to perfect our dreams during our generation. We should have focused on how to entrust our dreams to those who come after us. That's the important thing. Either way, we're going to die now. Next time we meet, let's have a drink together on the other side. As old war buddies. Uh. Naruto. Dad. Before I disappear, there's something I wanted to say to you. Happy birthday. Uh. <laughs> uh, thanks. I wasn't able to stay here for very long. But I was still able to see how much you've grown. I'll tell Kushina everything. Tell... Tell her I've eaten a lot of stuff with Granny. So I'll be fine. I eat tons of stuff. I'm never picky. I take a bath almost every day. Sometimes I go to the Hidden Leaf Hot Springs, too. But everyone says that I never stay in long enough to really soak. And I made a lot of friends. They're all good people. And, uh... Um... Anyway, I wasn't able to do everything she told me. But I really tried hard. I have a dream, too. I want to be a Hokage who surpasses you, Dad. And I'm gonna make it come true no matter what. Tell Mom on the other side. Tell her that she doesn't need to worry about me at all. That I'm gonna be fine.
Okay. I'll tell her everything. And so, the fourth great ninja war, which caused massive destruction and took many lives, came to an end. Some became light and disappeared, while others were left behind. Their various emotions created new connections and began to turn the pages of shinobi history once more.